Hey everyone, this is Dalton at Daltonians TFs, and I'm here to bring you another Power of the Primes video. I'm still getting used to saying that. I've been used to saying Titans Return for so long. But here we are taking a look at the new female Dinobot Slash. There she is, Beast Mode. You got the picture there. Uh, 12 steps. And it says Elite Tracker always finds her target. So, got that. And for her tech spec card. There it is, Dinobot Slash. You get the Quintus Prime logo here, and it says Revive Species from Fossilized Remains. There seems to be a lot of Jurassic Park references with her. And I, if she's a raptor and it's a female, they are really wanting to force that clever girl thing. But one problem with all of these I've seen, I've been suffering, is every single one of the quote, you know, text here is in English. And it's every time I've seen a picture of someone with their tech pet card for Slash, it is all in English. So there must have been a printing mistake with her cards. So there's that. And here we have our clever girl in dino mode. And like I've said before, she is a Jurassic Park style Velociraptor, which in case you didn't know is really far away from the truth of Velociraptors. Uh, they're actually like the size of a large turkey. I mean, just, yeah. The closest thing that the Jurassic Park Raptors are is a Utah Raptor. But then again, it's a movie and these are toys, so I really don't care. It's fun and it's that's what it's meant to be. It's all good fun. Now, she does look really good. I love how they integrated her into the G1 styling. Now, this is not meant to be confused with the Age of Extinction version of Slash, because that one, I believe, is still a male, and in the IDW comics, there was a female Dinobot named Strafe, and before that, we had some Rapticons from the, bot, or right around that time, the Botcon you know, Collector's Club Prose Fiction had Rapticons, which all were female raptor dinos, you know, raptors. So, here she is, really good looking uh, paint job, you got most of this kind of metallic silvery gray plastic. Uh, you also got the red, the black, the translucent plastic with the gold paint, and on the outside here we got the silver paint. Nice piercing red eyes there. Uh, her jaw does open. Not far. You can also rotate her head back so she can go for the whole raptor noise. And she does have little serrated teeth. Uh, her arms move up and down. Pretty good range. I mean, they do rotate 360 without everything getting with the yeah without everything getting in the way. Her dental legs. Got some good movement. And so, and you've even got the little index claws, you know, prepped and ready to slice. Uh, so, for her little tight master gimmick, you just bring this back, and we'll go ahead for this video and use skull grin because we've used one of each of the others for the other. Legends class. Now for her, with the Prime Masters and Titan Masters, you want to basically break their knees, bend them backwards like that, because they won't sit normally. And you just set them down right in there. You can have them lean forward a little bit and ride on top of Slash. So, you can have her Transporting Prime and Titan Masters. Take that out. Close that up. Now, for her transformation, it is very simple. I actually want to go ahead and open that back up. Bring back the dino head like such. Hold it back. You want to bring the bent arms out to here. Close that up. And actually, I like keeping the dino arms up near the back like this. Bring these legs out of the way. Bring down her abdomen, straighten that out, bring out the legs and rotate them around at the thigh. 
right at the feet and they will slightly click into place. You can probably hear it just. And from here, bring the tail back behind her head. Go ahead and untab the dino feet from her hands. And there we have Slash in robot mode, and I really do like the way she looks. She is very, very slim, very lanky. Uh, I mean, she is fairly small for a Legends. And I really don't mean small as in height. I mean small as in mass. I mean, there is Beachcomber. Wind Charger, Sea Spray, Brawn, and Bumblebee. I mean, these are all the ones that have been made specific for a Prime or Titan Master gimmick. And they all are a little bit on the bulky side, all except for her. And that's mostly just due to the fact that there is so much little so little space taken up by the prime master gimmick that they actually made her made it to where she is nice and slim she does have some nice silver paint here along the sides of her abdomen black all the way down get this gold right here on her kneecaps along with that red on the shins very good mold here on the face with her visor and that kind of rocketeer looking fin. I mean, she, she looks really good for this being her first toy in a G1 style. So, I mean, she looks good. She got the dino claws here that she can use as like little under slung blades. And as far as articulation goes, her head is on a Swivel, ball jointed shoulders, rotate at the bicep on a slight detent, bends at the elbow, forward, yeah, 90 degrees at the elbow. Nothing at the waist, you know, due to the transformation and the gimmick. Thigh swivel, ball jointed knee or hips, and again, I'm going to say it wind charger, no thigh swivel. She is this small and she still has the thigh swivel. So I, I'm still kind of peeved about that. You got the hinge knees going about 90 and you can bring out the toe for more acrobatic movements which she is very nimble and very you know athletic looking. I mean you can get her in some really good poses if you had a stand or something to hold her up probably like a Tomato Nation's stand that can hold her by the back. So that pretty much does it and you know, like I said in my Beachcomber video, her and Beachcomber are my favorites, and I think Beachcomber just slightly edges her out. The transformation on him is so fun. He's so simple. I mean, she is great. I mean, these are basically a tie, but if I were to say which one is my absolute favorite, it would barely go to Beachcomber. They are both fantastic. All three of these are really good Legends Class figures. These two are just kind of... they're. A little bit of a struggle between them. Like, there's moments where I think she's the best, and moments where I think Beachcomber is. It's still really hard to decide. So, if these two figures are as good as they are, I am really looking forward to the rest of Wave, the rest of the series of Power of the Primes. Uh, there's still that rumor floating around of uh, the Battle Trap Two Legend Combiner. Uh, I think they're calling it Battle Clash and Road Trap. So I'd like to see what happens with that. You've got the rumor of Tailgate and the rumor of Outback and Cinderstar, which might be a retool of Slash. We don't know for sure yet, so I'm hoping to see what comes out in the next few months. Uh, it is the middle of December at the time of this recording, so Toy Fair is just two months away. So can't wait to see what's all shown there. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to check out all my links down in the description, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Also, be sure to check out, you know, G1 Hextron, host of Cybercast and Galactic Gumbo, every other Saturday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And be sure to check out Bricks on the Dollar. You know, he's the host of Stasis Lock every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. 
it is the Beast Wars podcast to watch. And yeah, a lot of rambling just like I'm doing here and a lot of trailing off topics. So I'm going to stop and I will see you guys all next time. We're going to be looking at the deluxes next. So see ya.